right, let's get right into this. It's been a big week. Long Dark's been out there fishing just about every single night. But there's some things that have been happening that we've been waiting on. The Bass Billfish episode was this week. Thanks for all you that participated on Twitter and Facebook and YouTube. We were getting ready for that thing socially. It was incredible. Thanks for tuning in. It was a pleasure to fish with Peter Miller. The guy's a real guy. The guy gets up every day. He's thinking about catching big fish. He's thinking about doing things. The guy can throw a cast net for crying out loud. That immediately puts him at the top of the percentile for real guys. Massive bait with Peter Miller. That was one great episode. I was excited to fish with Peter. I was excited to fish with Clint and Luke. These guys were PBR event superstar type dudes. I felt super comfortable with those guys. Congratulations, Luke, on that tarpon you got. Speaking of tarpon, we've had a decent week. I had Eslin and Bryant. These guys were from Miami Gardens. Real guys. Don't too much fish on, don't do too much fishing on boats and all that, but they're fishing deep up in these river, way undercover. Took them out there. They wanted to get into some big fish. They got into some big fish. I was real proud of them. Both of them got a tarp into the boat. I don't know. We went like two or three for nine or ten. These guys are real guys. These guys are going. These guys are catching big fish. I mean, these are real guys coming right out of Miami Gardens. They're almost, they're so Miami Gardens, these dudes. That if you thought about somebody that ought to be living in Miami Gardens or the way somebody in Miami Gardens would look, sound, these guys are the guys. I had a lot of fun with them. Bryant was the kid that got the big fish. And when his fish hit, he was freelining the shrimp. The shrimp was right on the surface. Tarpon came up from, say, mid-level. We were about 10 feet of water. And you could watch the fish take it right off the surface, about 20 feet from the boat. Eslin looked at me. Bryant looked at me. Their eyes were about as big as an eight ball. And sure enough, they did a great job and got that big fish to the boat. Beautiful scenery. Had Miami Beach in the background. Weather was perfect. Visibility was great. It was just one of those nights to remember. I had Bryant using my go-to setup. It was a 6500 offshore Fenor spin rail with the Fenor rod. We had 20 pound Andy high vis. That was the high vis that Wallace gave me. It was cool. It was good. It was nice to have somebody out on the boat that was fighting the tarp in the way you should fight one. And boy did it pay off. So we pulled the fish upside the boat. He's a good fish. And we never really weigh these things or nothing. But you figure this fish was a good six foot, a little over six foot. He was somewhere between 90 and 110 pounds. And considering he caught that thing on a 3-0 circle hook with a 50 pound leader, it's fairly phenomenal. A lot of anglers that would have took an hour and a half, hour and 20 minutes. He did a good job. When we got the fish to the boat, I told him, I said, you got to be easy. These hooks we're using will straighten out on you when you run out of line like that. And sure enough, he played the fish just about perfect. Some guys got it. Some guys don't. But if you do what you're supposed to do out there, the chances you get in the big fish to the boat like Brian did are fairly good. Not everybody is in the same place in the learning curve. But when you put in your time and you do exactly what the heck you're supposed to do, it's amazing the type of results you can get. And these two boys from Miami Gardens totally proved that today. <clears throat> if I tell them this is the fifth consecutive year of being on national TV, 